Hi my beauties. I really hope you guys are ready for this tutorial. So I am doing the power of makeup. I feel like it's a very powerful message that Nikki Tutorial started. Um, I wanted, I have been wanting to do this for a long time. I feel like it's an inspirational message. I think it's a very powerful message to relay out there. Um, you know, me myself, I am happy with or without makeup. I love makeup. I love to play around with it. Makeup is so much fun. You can create and do whatever you like with it. You know, but at the end of the day, it washes off. There are no rules to makeup. You know, makeup is an expression of yourself. And it, whether you want to go with a bold lip or a like bold ass eyeliner, do it. Do it. If it makes you feel good, do it. Don't let anybody else tell you what you should and should not wear on your face. So yeah, you guys, without further ado, let's go on with the tutorial. So we are going to prime for our eyes. Same thing, using the Smashbox 24 hour photo primer. And I set that primer with the RCMA powder. going to go ahead and set that primer. See, I have all my little brushes laid out here. I'm going to be doing today, but I have the Naked 3 in front of me, and I also have the Morphe palette, so I don't know what, what I get to play with today. I'm going to start off by applying this color from the Morphe palette. This one right here, third row. Apply that to the crease. Now going in with this brown right here next to it, it's a taupey color. We're going to apply it in the same area. grab my Morphe 505. I'm going to go in with a deeper brown, but still chocolatey. It's this one right here. Go slow. These shadows are very pigmented, so you want to just apply it to where you want to define the crease. And I'm going to make like a V shape and bring it in as well. I want my lid to pop today. So what we are going to do, Morphe color right here. It's this beautiful peachy rose gold color. Spritz it with the Makeup Forever Mist Fix. Just give it a little spray there. And we're going to apply it to the lid. This in, I'm, I'm spritzing it because it intensifies the color a lot more. And you just want to dab it on there. Yes. We are done. with the eyeshadows for right now. Line my eye using the Kat Von D Ink Liner Trooper. Eyeliner is such a difficult task to apply, especially in camera, for, for me at least. So I take my time and I'm quiet. Making a small, um, thin line Whew. Whew, that was hard that stressed me out a little bit go ahead and grab my wispies I think right now they're one of my favorite lashes the wispy by Ardell come on okay 
I'm gonna go ahead and apply enough of the glue onto the lash so it'll stay for you all day. Um, I like to apply a generous amount in the corners more because those are the first ones to come off for me. You want to apply it as close to the eyelash, your natural eyelash line as possible. Let those set in and in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and start with my eyebrow. So now we have our eyebrow in and I'm going to go ahead and highlight that brow bone. Now that we have that in there, we're going to go in with our face. Makeup Forever skin, Step 1 Skin Equalizer. The foundation I'm using today is the NARS Velvet Matte. I'm, I'm liking this foundation lately, so I just figured, why not? It's worked really nicely for me, so I think I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to take our damp beauty blender and just pounce it all over. Now going in with our concealer. It's going to be the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I love this concealer. I don't think I'll ever go. We'll never say never. But so far, this concealer is bomb, you guys. Bomb. Love it. We're going to blend that out with our Beauty Blender as well. Ooh. Sorry, my camera shot off. Um, I grabbed this color right here and placed it right under my eyelash line right here. I went in with Amber Rush and applied it to my inner eyelash line. I used a brighter color for my inner tear duct. Using the same brush, I just wiped it off. And that's all I did off camera, I promise. Alright, so now that we have that in there, let's continue with our face. Contour, shall we? I'm using the Morphe 438 to outline my contour right there. And I'm using the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette. A little bit more of a color in there. I'm going in with my Hoola Bronzer. A little bit, you guys. Don't need to go crazy. Or go crazy. Who cares? Is the Cheeky Sweet Spot cheeky sweet spot um, it's the benefit I think they came out with this one maybe a year ago for Christmas I loved it I had to buy it um, so I it has um, dandelion Bella Bamba sugar bomb rockstar Coralista and the hula so and the what's what's up I'm not saying that funny it's literally what's don't judge me. To be applying all of these, no, just kidding. I would. I'm gonna be applying Bella Bamba and Coralista to my cheeks today. Now we're gonna go in with Champagne Pop and we're just gonna finish highlighting. Careful with this, guys. It's Do you, do you guys see that? Do you guys, do you guys see that? Look, look. Yes, girl. Now for the lips, I'm going to go in with ColourPop's Rooch. I'll use this um, Glide On Lip Pencil. It's a clear lip pencil by Urban Decay.
This is so weird. Guys, and that finishes up the look. This is the power of makeup. Makeup is fun. It's an expression. It's something that you can express yourself with. I um, enjoy what I do. I enjoy putting it on and I enjoy taking it off at the end of the day. Honestly, it does not define you. Who you are is inside of you. My message to you beauties, believe in yourself, know your self-worth, go out there and be yourself. Don't ever let anyone bring you down. If you really like this video, please hit the thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and until next time beauties, I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.